And mm -hmm. uh, okay, should we start? Sure. I mean, any time it's fine with me. So let me uh, to be punctual. Let's just wait uh, seven seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, let's uh, start. So it's my big pleasure to introduce Chen Yang Xu uh, from MIT, who will speak about the uh, K-moduli spaces of Pana varieties. And uh, okay, so it's a popular talk, 100 people. So I'm very sorry that if someone cannot uh, um, enter, but uh, we, we record it. We record it and uh, we, if Chen Yang, uh, Happy with this, I will upload it later to Vimedia. Okay, thank you, Chinyan, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, thank you, uh, thank you very much for the invitation. So today my plan is basically give a survey of this like a race and uh, works in the last maybe a, a couple of years, maybe three years of constructing the k module space, completely using every geometry uh, approach. I mean, if I have time, I'll probably talk a little bit about uh, some details of some step. So, but the, the main, main part, like 40, 45 minutes, I think it will be just a sketch, I mean, a survey of, of, the, of the topic. So, so our goal is, uh, I mean, we are interested in basically in the moduli of uh, final varieties. I mean, of course, people are interested in moduli of, uh, of varieties. But then, as we all know, we should have a polarization. And uh, only two kinds of, of, of varieties, there, there are natural polarizations on that. So first is the case that the KX positive. And then for this one, now we all know there's a very nice moduli theory called the KSB moduli theory, which give you a basically compact moduli space. So basically that's a higher dimensional analog of mg bar. I, I mean, I think everybody know this. I mean, core stands for Cola and the SB stands for Schaeffer Baron. So, but we're, today we are more interested in the negative case, which is uh, the KX negative. So that's what we mean by far variety. But then the, there are new difficulties come, come out. So first, of course, we know that, uh, for instance, Final varieties could have a infinite automorphism. So this will make the moduli space significantly harder. I mean, if I if we more object uh, we want to parameterize uh, admits infinite automorphism. But then there's also a problem that uh, about the the separateness. You know, if I want to construct moduli space, it, it's better to be separated. But for module, but for final varieties, there are lots of non-separateness could show up. So the typical example, the simplest example is the example of uh, x squared plus y squared plus w squared plus tz squared equal to zero. So this is a family over a one t. So this is the uh, inside uh, p over a one t. So of course we all know that when t is not equal to zero, this is uh, basically a, a part of, of of p one. So it's a it's a quadratic surface surface. But then there is a three star action on this quadratic surface. The limit it, it will be a cone over a conic curve, which is a perfectly fine final varieties. I mean it has one a one singularities. But as we know, if we want to have Compact modular space, we definitely should allow some singularities. And A1 is uh, basically the simple uh, singularity. And uh, actually, in higher dimension, you can write down such examples from smooth, like a C1 X, C star X on smooth, and the limit is smooth. So basically, if I want to study all the final varieties, I mean, there is no chance for me to get a separated modular space. So we have to further focus on some subclass. So that's how this K stable final variety is coming to the picture. So let me just talk about a little bit about the history. So, so this case stability was first introduced uh, by Tian in the late 90s. And then later Donaldson gave a reformulation which completely 
Use the algebraic geometry condition. And uh, the main philosophy behind this, I mean, is uh, sometimes called the, the Yao Tian Dong's conjecture, basically says that the K stable is equal to basically KE, I mean, this of a varieties plus the automorphism group is, uh, is finite. And now you can imagine there's a similar version for automorphism group infinite case in that the K poly stable is equal to the KE case. Uh, as we know, I mean, th there are lots of, of analytical works toward this, the, this equality. Let me just call this YTD conjecture, Yautian Donaldson conjecture. I mean, I mean, for instance, for one direction, I mean, I think Tian gave proof, and there are many, uh, uh, and people like, uh, uh, many other people also give uh, proof of, of the direction that the metric implied the, the, the stability. And for the converse direction, I think so far, the, for the smooth case, I mean, we know uh, CDS, I mean, Chen, Dan, and Sun, and Tian, they, they also prove it. But we want to, today we want to completely focus on the algebraic uh, situation. So we will not talk about the analytical work uh, much uh, uh, too much. So, so basically, our goal is uh, is basically develop a, a purely algebraic geometry theory. So I will basically define case stability later. I mean, using somewhat a different definition. But let, but before that, let, let's say there are basically three guiding questions for the counter research. So the first is basically we want to understand case stability better. I mean, there are just case stability, but there are different uh, various notions of case stability. We want to understand their relation, how to give a uh, equivalent characterization of them. I, I will talk about this more like in, in a few minutes. But then the second question is uh, we want to construct the K moduli theory. So that's, a, that's my title. And the third one is basically we want to, for exp explicit funnel, we want to basically verify, verify case stable or not. I mean, usually the, to verify that case stable, it's a higher direction. So, so these are the three guiding questions. I mean, in the last like five years, there are tremendous progress along all of them. And uh, of course, the study of them are related to each other. I mean, today, basically, I will concentrate on two. But since they are related to each other, I will actually talk about the uh, one or three also a little bit, but not cover all the work. For instance, uh, I mean, uh, it's with really construction work. There, there was like a very recent paper by, by Zhuquan Zhuang and, uh, and uh, Hamid. I mean, that's a very different approach. So let me come back to the... First up, before I want to talk moduli, I want to start into describe the case stability condition a little bit more. So, so instead of uh, instead of uh, Donaldson, I mean Tian Donaldson's definition, we actually will use the what I call Fujita Lee criteria. Which give a equivalent uh, description of K semi stability. So basically, this this you can think about as a definition in my talk, but it's actually a theorem to prove. It's a highly non-trivial theorem to prove this is equivalent to the original definition of T. and Donaldson. So so basically, let's say that the X is K semi stable if and only if there is a number called a beta xe is non-negative for any e. So here e is a divider over x. So, so in other words, there exists like a morphism from y to x, which is birational, such that the e is a divider on y. And what's beta xe? So beta xe is equal to a 
xe minus sxe. So A is basically the log discrepancy. So AXE is uh, the so-called uh, log discrepancy. So I mean, if you read the column array, that's the uh, discrepancy plus one. So, so, uh, so I think everybody here know column array, so I'm not going to define the uh, uh, in more term. So, so what's S here? S is so-called uh, the expected uh, vanishing order. So basically that's minus kx power to n. So this is a volume. And then I look at the volume. So let me call this map mu. That the, of the mu minus, the pullback of minus kx. And then I look at the vanishing order along this e. And then I take the integral from zero to infinity. I mean, in practice, actually, we know that this is a finite integral because for t is very large, the, what's I, what I wrote inside the, the volume here is not going to be pseudo-effective, so the volume is going to be zero. There is a pseudo-effective threshold, so we basically integral from zero to the pseudo-effective threshold, but let me just write in this way. So this is um, what I call S. I mean, so basically beta is just the, 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 the difference between S. And the theorem just say x is uh, k semi-stable if and only if for all any divider e over x, you check this term and uh, that's non-negative. So that's what I call Fujita Lee criteria. Yeah. Xinyang, one second. Is it possible just to a little bit uh, increase the screen? You mean the... the, the uh, you mean the, the, the iPads of the screen? Yeah, yeah, enlarge shared screen a bit. If possible, if not, it's so I just know. I, yeah, I don't think it's very possible. Sorry, sorry. I mean, because yeah, I'm not sure I can enlarge on my iPad. Sorry. I mean, I can write slightly smaller. Maybe that's that's a solution. Oh, no, maybe, maybe bigger. You mean write bigger? I mean, then yeah, you to enlarge, to enlarge the screen a bit. Yeah. Well, I, I think, I mean, instead of in, uh, enlarge the screen, I mean, I might just write smaller. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so, so basically, let's, so for this, we can also, sorry. Okay, so, so, any question there? Okay, no. So basically, we can also just uh, de define the A, X, E, and divide by x s x e, and I run the infimum over all the possible divider e. So I call this to be the delta divider, uh, delta uh, 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 invariant of x. This was originally defined by Fujita and Odaka, but but the current definition I I use was basically from Bloom and Jungson. So, so, so then basically we know that the, the, the Fujita Lee criterion is equivalent to say that uh, delta x is a larger or equal to one is the same as uh, x is uh, k semi stable. Right, so so this is uh, what uh, uh, b because we just instead of a minus s, we just look at a divided by s, and we know it's always uh, a is always uh, at least as big as s. So then there is also something called a delta x larger than one. So in this case, we actually call it uh, call it a uniformly k stable. So basically, A is uniformly larger than S by, by some multiple, by some multiple uh, larger than one. And uh, this is a stronger than the notion called the X is K stable. So the, the X K stable, this notion was the original notion divide, uh, sorry, defined by Donaldson and Tien. But in our 
setting up, we actually can use Fujita. Oh, sorry, let me just. Uh, Okay, so so we basically use uh, Fujita Li, and, so, and, and for this we have to use some extra work I, I did with Bloom to show that X is a k-stable if and only if that the beta xe is always positive for energy. So you say the difference between uniform k and k. K just say that the a is always larger than delta uh, the s but uniform k is say that the uniform of a divided by s is larger than one that's how the uniform uh, uniform melody come, comes out because there's still could be a chance that a larger than s but that the, the uniform room is still one but however we expect this doesn't happen but this is still a big conjecture this is still a big, big conjecture and uh, we actually have a similar version if the automorphism is uh, is uh, infinite. So basically, there is something called a reduced. I mean, if I have time, I, I will define this at the end of my lecture. But but I'm not going to define it now. So that's equivalent to say the delta reduced by some t. T here is the maximum torus inside auto move max. So this is larger than one. And again, this imply x to be k polystable. But what k polystable here means is that basically this means x is a k semi-stable. And uh, moreover, any k semi-stable the generation of X is isomorphic to X. So if you, for, you are familiar with uh, the modular space of vector bundles, so basically this is a so-called S equivalence if X is de degenerate to, to some, something semi-stable. Then this polystability is just equivalent to say this element is the minimal element in the S equi equivalent class. So well, that's precisely the, the, the polystability in the GIT sense. But this again was not the def definition uh, uh, introduced by Dawson and Tian. The, the equivalence here was proved by Li Chi Li, Xiao Wei, and myself. So, so again, this, this is very easy to get here. And we know that, uh, come back, we just have to add that the, the infinite the fire out of the group condition. Again, the comeback here is a big question. So whether k poly stability is the same as uniform stability, that we don't know. But why we need the left uh, uh, vertical ro uh, column? Actually, we know that this condition is equal to x has k plus, here we plus automorphism group less than infinite. Here that's just, just equal, equal. But what's the difference between this with the original what I mentioned? Because there's, there's both these two equality, we actually know that even for singular final varieties. So, so the original way of prove the yalte nelson conjecture is using this Gromov-Hostoff limit approach. I mean, that's actually so far only works for smooth funnel or some like a, a generalization of that, but that, it doesn't work for general singular funnel varieties. But this kind of approach to, to start from the uniform stability to get uh, the existence of uh, Kalanist metric, that's actually somewhat different. That's a so-called uh, variational approach. And this approach actually has been completely worked out even for single funnel varieties. But you have to assume something stronger. You have to assume uniform stability. And, the, and of course, we conjecture the uniform stability, the equal to the stability, but that's not a no yet. But somehow, in some sense, to completely solve the yalchin donaldson conjecture, even for the singular final, the remaining part is a completely algebraic geometry question of proving, the K, proving that the 
existence, sorry, case stable, case stable implies uniform case stable. And actually we know this is basically, this falls from finance, some kind of finite generation property, but which we don't know how to prove. But here this was proved by, oops. This is proved by, by Ber, this approach of a rational approach was originally introduced by Berman, Bookson, and the Youngson. And then it works out by Li Tian Wang. And then this uh, 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 more general version of with infinite out moment group that worked out by, by Chi Li. So this is our understanding of case step notion. Let's say like the, traditionally in, from Tian and the Donaldson's definition, we are constantly on the right hand side. But now we, we have this uh, valuative criteria, this Fujita Li criteria. And then we also introduce the left hand side. And then we somehow play with them a lot using every geometry. Any question? So no, sorry. Now I want to come back to the K moduli. So, so, so let, let me first start with some examples. Actually, that's even before the general theory. Before you have some examples. Because, I mean, you can just write down some explicit varieties, which prime times final varieties, and then you just show that the final value is you parameterize, they all have a Kalashnikov metric, uh, they are all k-poly stable. So, so that way you can just uh, find some explicit examples. So, so this, you, you see the final module, I, actually first, I think it, it first actually implicitly appeared in Tian's proof for degree less than six the post surface smooth ones so basically because we know that because tn show they are all uh, they all have a kind metric and we know they have a modular space for for all this double surface so we already know there is a modular and then later we we have we have the the the, the complexification of them So in the degree four case, this 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 was work out by Mabuchi Mukai in early nineties, and then in the degree one two three, this was work out by Odaka, Sporty, and soon. But this was I think in two thousand sixteen, sometime that it it was later. But then in the surface case, this is complexification of smooth Perdo. So, uh, and then in higher dimension, there are not so many examples actually. There, is, there was one example, Yu Chen Liu and, and I worked out uh, maybe three years ago for cubic threefold. We basically proved that the, this moduli of Kalanistan uh, final varieties is precisely the same as the moduli of, uh, I mean, the GIT of cubic threefold. And uh, then, for instance, there are very recent work on by Asher, De Fleming, and and Yu Chen Liu for work out for the log surface case, especially the plane curve. Uh, and, and maybe there are a couple of more examples, but but after all, they are not so far, especially higher dimension. We don't really have a, uh, that many examples which we know the entire compact modular space that that we, we know every fiber will prime try. I mean, to find out uh, more such examples will be certainly a very interesting question. But uh, now let me just say what the general theorem we can prove now. So the theorem has three parts. So the first theorem is basically about the stack part. So basically we fix dimension n and the v. And uh, now we know that uh, all 
k semi stable n-dimensional final variety of volume v so so that just means minus kx n is equal to v this basically is formal uh, adding stack which i just write k s s and v so what what comes into the proof of this so first for K semi stable final varieties, we know they are, they are all KLT, Kalmata log terminal. So, particularly, they are all normal. So, so somehow the singularity is not very bad. So, but somehow we still have to work out, uh, so we still have a look at the family of uh, KLT varieties over a base. So, if the birth base is DVR, then such family is not so complicated. But then you have to still develop the general situation for family. Uh, of uh, KOT varieties over some, something like a non-reduced base or this kind of uh, technical thing. But uh, this is completely a local problem. And this kind of local problem already appeared in, in, in the KSP situation. So, so, so we just, uh, for the local situation, this, this is already worked out in KSP moduli problem. Well, because everything is KOT, so it's even smaller. But then there are, for the global problem, so we have to consider that we have to prove all such final varieties. We first have to prove they are bounded. I mean, of course, we know all the final manifolds are bounded, but here we allow KOT singularity. So somehow, of course, we know all the KOT final varieties are not bounded. But then there was this Berkha's work to show that uh, you post some like a condition, like a, some like a necessary condition, then you, you can just get the boundaries. So this was, uh, the boundaries here can follow from Berkha's work. So that was a work out by Chen Jiang. And as I said, it's basically after Berkha's work. So we know the boundaries. But again, we also have to prove that if I have a family of KOT final varieties, the k semi stable ones form an open condition. So, because you know, given how complicated uh, you have to check the final variety to be k stable, this open condition is by no means is, is trivial. Actually, this was only work about last year by, I mean, there are two proofs you, to use two different criteria to, to get it. So, one is by Bloom, Liu, and myself, and one is just by myself. So, so we basically have an openness. And here again, we use Berkha's without on the boundaries of complement. So, so anyway, we know that uh, the moduli functor, if I just look at the OK semi stable one, then it's a formal Adian step. But then the second step is that there exists a separated good moduli space uh, so this is basically the uh, is the algebraic space so so this good modular space i will explain what it means but it's uniquely determined by the the by the functor So given the stack, we have a good moduli space. So what does this mean? So basically locally, I mean, my stack can be, have a cover of the form such as the spec A module some reductive group. This is by part of our theorem to say that it has good moduli space. And then the good modular space of this guy is of course just the spec of AG, the, the geometric invariant part. So basically locally you, 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 you can cover your stack by the form of spec A mod G, this kind of quotient stack. And then the good modular space is precisely covered by, by, the, uh, by the spec of the invariant function. Now, of course you can imagine that the 
the good module space is unique, and uh, and we also know it's separated. So so again, the proof of this actually contain two of uh, two work. The separation is, was worked out by Bloom and myself, and uh, the the general good moduli exists. I mean, especially the part that the automobile group of a polystable guy is reductive. This is part of our theorem that if you have a k-polystable final variety, even it's singular, but as long as it's k-polystable, the automobile group is reductive. So this part was worked out by upper blue Hopper, Leisler, and myself. So, so basically, we know that uh, the, mo the the Arden stack indeed has a good module space. So this was a bit like uh, in the I mean, the KSB case. You first construct it as a dirty Manfred stack. Then you say this dirty Manfred stack has a coarse module space. But for Arden stack, I mean, there, there of course is no, usually no coarse module if the automorphism is infinite. But there is this so-called good module theory, which locally basically just a GIT you know, looks like a GIT theory. But the existence of a stack, audience stack, for uh, I mean the existence of a, of a good module space for audience stack is much more delicate than the existence of a coarse module space for 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 the Manfred stack. So for instance, you have to show that the automorphism group is reductive, and uh, and you have to prove more. But the the big conjecture here, which again we I mean this is the main conjecture here is that we actually conjecture this good module space is proper. So so again actually you know ongoing work we will show this follows from some final generation result. Again that it's kind of final generation result which we don't know yet. It's not covered by BCHM. So one case we know is uh, is a smoothball case. This case is no. So if I consider the degeneration of uh, smooth ones now, then we know the moduli space is uh, is is proper. But this basically follows from the analytical work. Basically, this for, from the tenth theorem partial estimate, and then the proof by Donaldson Sun that this I mean this is true. So, so, so basically, we know that uh, at least for some component, this we it, it's it's proper. And then one piece, one last piece of the theorem is uh, proved by Kodogny, Patakfavi. I mean, it's actually proved by by myself and Zhuang, but our work is based on a lot of Kodogny and Patakfavi's work, is that if we consider some subspace inside of this space, identify two condition, that the M itself is proper. And for any point on M, so then we know that the final Corresponding this point, so originally we know all such final correspond to some k polystable. So all such point correspond to some k polystable final. But here we actually assume something stronger. We assume they are reduced uniformly k stable. Again, as I said, this is conjecture is the same to be k polystable, but we don't know. But let's just assume this uh, stronger condition. Then what we know is that the same Lie bundle lambda C M restrict on this M is actually ample. So 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 we got the positivity of the same Lie bundle on on this M. So let, let me just give some remarks here. So basically, the conjecture, as I said, imply that the, we can take M to be the entire space. But we, so far, we don't know that this is true. And so at least um, conjecturally, this should give the projectivity. 
But the one piece we know is that uh, the the all the smooth ball. Oh no. If the component, I mean, in some sense, this is the main component, right? Because we are mostly interested in the degeneration of smooth final varieties. Let's give this a component M, satisfy the condition. Oh, to, to prove, to show that the M satisfies the condition, that's still analytic. But then, once we know that, we can just apply our theorem to prove that the same light bundle on M is uh, is projective. I mean, our proof is completely algebraic. So, so at least we we have a proof that uh, if we look at the smooth ball found, uh, modular space, then that component is actually projective. So, so far, any any question? Okay. So, I mean, th this this is my theorem D. So basically, what we know is uh, we have we know it's an stack. We know it has a good modular space, and then by, by assuming some some like a properties, or you can think about this kind of like a compactness, then we actually know it's projective. But the missing part is properties, and all of this kind of missing part is uh, closely related to some unanswered part of uh, final generation question. So, so I don't have time to talk about the proof of all of them. So. I want to talk about the, a little bit of the proof of the last part because that's the most recent work. But before that, I want to say a, a, a few words about the history and the, basically the background results. So, so basically, I mean, I think for, at least for my personally and for probably a lot of Bayesian geometers, they are interested in this case stable final variety at the beginning because they, somewhat expect it can be used to construct a modular space. Although the construction itself is actually quite uh, challenging. But, but somehow, but you know, we saw say those examples and then we expect there is a um, existence of, uh, th then we, we expect, expect that it can, the case that can be really used to, to give a modular theory. So now we have uh, like a big chunk of the, of the, ther uh, of the theorem. But the development, uh, I mean, the proof of this big chunk actually really relies on the, the entire progress, the progress of the entire theory, especially the algebraic geometry theory of case stability. So, so that's why I want to survey a little bit. So basically, after Donaldson algebraic form formulated the TNS definition, that's, that's in early 2000. That, then, of course, at the beginning, this was pretty much look look like the the Hitchin Kobayashi correspondence, right? This YTD conjecture. It's a, it's very much like a Hitchin Kobayashi correspondence for 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 bundles. But the the problem is, uh, I mean, for Hitchin Kobayashi correspondence, when you study the the other side, the algebraic geometry side, that's kind of the moduli of a theory of vector bundles. And then we know to 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 get such moduli, it's it, it's nice. To, I mean, the natural algebraic geometry tool we we use is the GIT theory. So, so, so basically, that's what people did at the early. Uh, I mean, around in this period. So people basically look at this case stability theory, theory, theory through the window of a GIT theory. For instance, there was this work by Ross and Thomas. Which which was completely algebraic, but somehow I think between 2010 and 2015, it was realized that actually the middle mode program should play a bigger role. So people start to say that uh, there is a similarity between this case B theory as the case B theory. Indeed, we know that. Uh, it's not very hard to prove, actually, in some sense, that the, if you look at the case, positive case, you can still ask case stability. Then there, the case stability is precisely the same as, as KSP theory. So, 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 for instance, this was proved by Odaka. And also, Chiri and, and myself, we, like, in early, two, the, I mean, 2011, we basically 
invented the MMP process to somehow to do the final writing MMP, like what people did in KSP. But in final case, because the MMP usually doesn't end up with one canonical object, so it's much more tricky. So, so I think during the time between 2010 and 2015, we already realized that the MMP should play a big role. But maybe, sorry. Let me write it again. But after 2015, there was a new progress. Well, the first, uh, this was something already I mentioned, this Fujita Lee de developed uh, their criteria. And actually this was based on Berman's work. So, so basically, you know, people define st case stability, but Berman also introduced this DIN stability. So the, the difference between DIN and K is that K actually works for polarized uh, manifolds, general polarized manifolds. But DIN is more speci specialized to KE problem. So particularly DIN, the function DIN has some like uh, good properties, which was pretty hard to prove for K, which I, I'm, I'm not sure it's true or not. For instance, you can define DIN in run for for like a non-fine generated uh, filtration, and it has good properties which people cannot prove for for for, uh, for, for talking environment. So anyway, the 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 the, the develop of Berman by Dean, sorry, the develop of Dean by Berman. Uh, I'm sorry, and also some improvement by, by Fujita plays a big role. And also on the analytic side, there is this more, this like a variational approach, which is closer to this kind of non archimedean theory. So in some sense, this kind of theory is closer to higher Bayesian geometry. I mean, this is just my own remark. So, so this was uh, this Nagami theory was uh, developed by Berman, Buxong, Youngson, and also people like Hisamoto and Chili and many others. So somehow th there was this like a somewhat. Uh, different analytic theory, which also fits into the hydrogeometry picture, like more easily. And also there are also like a progress inside, just inside the hydrogeometry, in other part of hydrogeometry, like a, like Burke's work, like a boundaries of Fano. This was basically, this was used in the proof of the existence of as an Arden stack. And also there was this more general, a very general theory of construct module, construct good modular space by upper Henlos and the Harper Lyser. So, so this is basically the, the, the Kyo Mori theory for Kiyomori theorem for Arden stack roughly it gives this one. So this was also used in our proof. In our proof, so there are there are more. But somehow you say that uh, why we now we can we, we can basically construct a large part of the of the moduli because we really stand on lots of lot of progress made by many many other people. Any other question? So okay, this is basically the 45 minutes part of the survey. So now I, I still have about 50 minutes. I will concentrate on the proof of the, of the last part. I mean, again, I cannot give you a complete proof. I will just give you some idea. So, so, so the last part is uh, the proof of positivity of same line bundle. And uh, as I said, this was a joint work with uh, with 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 Zhuan Zhuang, which we actually used lots of ideas in the work by Kadogni and Patakafavi 
and then we have to make a lot of new uh, we have to pay, make a bunch of new new input so 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 let's say i mean i haven't defined what semi mono is now i'll give you a definition so i consider a family of x b so so let's assume b is uh, projective you can assume it's smooth but this is not important and uh, that uh, such that the fibers are all KLT final varieties. So basically, all the fibers are normal. So I mean, again, this is not uh, so often in the K in other situation, but uh, at least uh, when the base dimension is one, you can always find uh, such compatibility, such as all fibers are KLT final varieties. And then the the same line bundle which on B is just given by the push forward of K X B self intersect M plus one. So this dimension X T is equal to N. So so now if I you know intersect if I have a divider I is intersect M plus one times, then this this become a cycle which which is a cycle of dimension B minus one. So, so now if I have this cycle, I push forward this cycle on B, I got a divider, right? Because it's a dimension B minus one cycle. So the, if I push forward on B, B is smooth, then I, 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 got, a, I got a divider on B. And the same line bundle basically is a negative of this. So, so we basically expect that this guy always to be positive, this intersection is always positive. So a priori, this is not clear, I mean, how this positivity come out, come out and all, right? So I will, I, will, I will give you a proof in the case that, let's say propagation. This propagation is uh, already proved by Kodogany and Padkafavi, but somehow I, I want to give you a proof which fits into our, into our, our techniques. So, so we, we will, we we'll basically just want to set up the case that the dimension is one. So say is a smooth projective curve. Okay. So what do we want to do? So we look at the F lower star minus M K X over C. So for adding M, so now we take a Hadana Shiman filtration on this. So basically the filtration is, is filtered by the by the semi-stable sub bundle with, 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 with slope which, which given by the by by the by the degree. So we basically take this Hadana Shiman filtration and uh, we, now we just put all the, them together. So we got a filtration on this OC algebra, which is given by, I put all of them to get all and together. I mean, again, if uh, my X is not smooth, I mean, you might worry this is not a, not a, this is not a Katia live bundle, but somehow then you can just choose the C to make it to be Katia. And then you just look at all the MC KX. Uh, uh, so, so choose the R, such as the R KX is Katia. And then you just look at the, all the push forward of minus M R, uh, M R KX. But here, let me just uh, forget the, 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 uh, the Katia index R. So the, here is all the, uh, all the natural number. So, so now we just choose, we, we just choose adding up to T. And then we restrict the, this filtration on the filtration R is given by the, the, just the H zero minus KXT. No, basically just through the movism from R to R. So, so, so we just look at the image of the, of the Hallerschmann filtration, and then this gives me a filtration on this R. And uh, 
then I can define a base ideal a i n to be to be the base ideal of the so the restriction restricting filtration i still call it the hard i still i write it as f h n hada Shiman filtration so i just look at this one r m and i look at the image of r inside r m so that that linear system will give me a that linear system will give me a base ideal. I just look at that base ideal. So I call it AIM. So it depends on the M, which is basically just the M inside. So the M is, uh, the M here is given by the M here, and the M here, and the I is uh, just given by this I. So this is basically a double graded, uh, this is a double graded uh, ideal, uh, 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 ideal. So now I define this new environment, which I call it mu delta, to be the maximum t, such that if I look at the local threshold of x, and uh, so now I look at the sequence of ideal, which is given by t m m, and for all the m goes to infinity. So this way I, I got an ideal sequence. So, so then I can compute, compute the log character threshold of this. I want, oh, sorry, this is different T. I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't call it a T. I'm sorry, I shouldn't call it a T. Let me call it uh, maybe P, A, uh. So, so call it a p m. So this p is just some number, some real number, and I, w I want to this local kind of threshold to be at least uh, let's say whether I choose my sorry to be at least the third time, not at the most, at least the third. Oh, I mean, you might think of this kind of definition is a little bit strange, but let me just uh, try to explain why, uh, how it can come out. So, especially there's one value which is interesting, we call it, uh, when delta is equal to one, let me just call it mu. And then we define the beta f to be mu minus the sf. The sf is just a standard one. Is basically the limit of uh, m goes to infinity of one m dimension r m and a sigma i inside of v such as f h and i divide by f h and i plus one times i. This is dimension of. So so basically, what I want to do here is that. We want to define a beta environment for filtration. Uh, that's, uh, uh, as you probably still remember that in the Vegeta Lee criteria, the upshot there is to define some environment for, for divider such that the non-negativity of that environment, which we call beta E, is equivalent to the K semi-stability. Uh, uh, as you say that a large part of the original geometry progress of case stability theory is uh, we actually try to enlarge this the, the domain of the po of the all kinds of environment which we define so particularly i mean you know you have a valuation i got a filtration but i might just look at the more general filtration which is uh, which are only required to be linear bounded uh, multiple kd which are hard on uh, which are hard on shimano Shim filtration certainly satisfied so we just look at this filtration and then or just this more general filtration, we want to define a beta. And our, uh, I mean, in, in my work with Zhu with, and with Zhuang, we actually define this in this way. And uh, this actually turns out to be, we believe to be the right definition of the, of the filtri 
uh, of the beta for filtration. I mean, I, I probably understand that when you first say this, it seems a little bit uh, uh, technical, but uh, you just remember the upshot is we want to define a version of beta environment, not just for divider, but even for general filtration. That's what we, we try to do here. And, uh, and, and then you, s you realize that for, if I look at the Hadamard-Schumann filtration, if I look at this S, this is nothing but the degree of the lambda M of the same degree, maybe up to some constant, but positive constant. So, so in other words, if I, I want to non-negativity non of uh, same light bundle degree, I only need, need the non-negativity of S. But we know S is, of course, equal to the beta F minus mu, right? This is just uh, the definition. But then we know that the mu is indeed always non-negative, no matter, I mean, so far I haven't assumed any case stability on, on, on assumption yet. I just assume the fiber is KOT final. So even for that, the mu is always non-negative. This is actually pretty standard Hodge theory positivity, Hodge theory type positivity. Because if it's not positive, then you can somehow extend the minor, some, some divider of minus K, KXT, some Q divider into the ambient space in, inside the minus K over C. But then that will violate the the the, the Hodge, Hodge theory part. So so this is easy. Uh, I mean the Hodge theory. Well, not either. This is a more classical part. But now we just have a beta f larger than zero because of the case stability condition. I mean you can imagine that the case stability condition is or semi stability condition is equivalent to some non-negativity of some this kind of beta and that's what, what we precisely use so somehow you say that the traditionally we want to prove this same light bundle to be positive in the ksp case that's essentially boil down to something like Hodge theory but but in, but for this final case it's actually boiled down two parts one part is Hodge theory and another part is this case stability condition and uh, somehow this kind of actually combination was uh, Already realized in 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 the work of Kodogany and and Palakfavi. But what we Chen and I did was we basically inter, reinterpreted their their proof using using filtration and we define this beta and then somehow we separate out the terms and and, and then the, so we just give a reproof of their their theory. And uh, of course, this is just prove the nafness. So we want to prove the the goal is to prove the amponies. Well, I, I only have uh, three minutes, so so I don't have uh, that much time to to explain the amponies part. Okay, maybe uh, let me just give you the last definition of a reduced uh, uniform stability. So basically, if I have a, a filtration F and, uh, sorry, let me just say, So you have a torus group acts on X. And then when, of course, T will also act on the R, which is the just sum of H0 minus MKX. Here X is still final, which I derived as the just sum of Rn. And uh, so, so then, we can write this Rm to be the just sum of Rm alpha. So alpha is basically just uh, inside the home T Gm. So it's given, given by some character. And now if I choose a, a cosine inside of the, so this I call it M. Now if I choose N, which is R, which is the M dual R, then I can cook up. So if I have a filtration F on R, I can, I can cook up a new filtration. 
new filtration, which I call F uh, FKC. Uh, so which is defined this way, is that if S is inside R M alpha, then S, this is the, the if and only if S inside, maybe I should say, then equivalent to S is inside the F C. Oh, sorry. The, I would, uh, let me just finally finish this definition and then I'm done. That the, the then the S is inside F I R M alpha, if and only if S inside F C I minus C alpha. Because C is a, is a co-character, it can be paired with alpha. And, and then this, this is R M. So, so, so this is a, basically I twist my filtration by by C by the pair with, of C and the alpha. So, so this way I got a new, I got I got, I, I got a new filtration F C, and then I say X is uniformly K stable. If and only if, I mean, for adding, if I have a Test configuration, which I didn't define, but it's always larger than some twist of, let's say, if I don't if there exists a, such that there is always twist of the J function of X C for all the possible twins C. But this is actually just equivalent to what we want to say that the, we can always find the find the twin C such as the bay delta is larger than zero for some C, but there exists a delta larger than one. So in other words, the uniform stability is that I can always twist my filtration and then I have the uniform stability condition. That's what the reduced uniform stability. So re reduced just mean you can basically twist your, uh, you can just twist twist your filtration by the J. So so the reduced means there is a uniform form behavior. When you just look at the the uh, look at the inside of the space, not just under the point, but you, but you know look at the under the orbit, which is under the action by T. So so that's how I mean that's the flavor of the uniform stability, uh, reduced uniform stability. Okay, sorry. Let me just stop here. Thank you. Uh, okay, thank you, Chin Yang, and uh, we probably can applaud uh, in uh, in Zoom. I don't know how, but I think we can have, yeah, like this. Thank you very much. Uh, if anyone have a question, please ask now. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. Uh, Julius has a question. Julius, please uh, tell, ask. Yeah. Um, do you want me to speak? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. No, so thank you for the talk. So just one slide up <clears throat> in your proof of nefness of the CM bundle. You push forward this relative canonical anti canonical bundle, and then you look to the hard and narrow seam infiltration. That's right. So I'm just really curious about that. So why so obviously you're trying to say that something like stability of that push forward is entering into the picture somewhere like if that if that bundle happened to be stable it looks like some things would simplify so this is sort of a general question but like why is stability of f star of minus mk even entering is there any sort of reason to think why that should have anything to do with the picture at all yeah actually that's a very good question i mean my, actually, frankly, answer, uh, my frankly answer is uh, actually I don't know. I mean, I asked this to myself again and again. I mean, this was actually this kind of use uh, of uh, of uh, Hadamard filtration of the push forward of you know this uh, multiple of k or minus k. This never appeared before in, in, in any place as far as I know, except, except in a very special case. But but by the appeared in Kodogony and the and the Patakavis work, which we've I mean. When I first saw it, I really don't know. 
understand it. But now, I mean, we play it with a lot. So we understand it in some sense by, by the experience, but still we, the philosophy behind, I mean, it's still not clear, uh, unclear to me. So yeah, that's a good question, which I actually, I don't have a very good answer. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, any more questions? So let me take a look. So. I sorry, maybe I can answer why get into the thing. Manya, sorry. Can yeah, I? yeah, definitely, Julia. Of course, yeah. Uh, because we were looking, uh, uh, we have this approach to case stability with basic step divisor, and we want to lift sections. I Me mean, basically, we wanted to lift uh, sections, and. Uh, and the other than a symmetric fraction is what allows you to lift sections, essentially. Because we started on, with examples on P1, and uh, we see that, uh, uh, I mean, I mean, it's very unclear. So let me first say this. When you look at configurations, and you, you compute the odds of the invariant, the, the weight filtration of, uh, of the test configuration, which we use to compute the odds of the invariant, is exactly the other than a symmetric fraction. So that's the first reason why you want to do the thing. And the second is because if you have a semi-stable bundle, you can lift section from the general fiber to the global uh, family. So we use semi-stability of the bundle to lift section. And once we lift section, we use this basic step divisor characterization. Mm. This is why we, we use this. I mean, why we try to start looking at this. Thank you. And thank you, Shenyang, for the talk. It's a great talk. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Julio. Yeah, I mean, technically, I understand Julio's po point. But so basically, for this, this hot zero part, you really have to lift the section. And also, you have something like, a, like this. Both of these two places, I mean, use, you use the filtration to be, to be the hard measurement filtr filtration. I mean, so technically, that, that's the reason. But for instance, whether there is more general theory behind, uh, like, like what, what, uh, 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 Julia suggests if the push forward is semi stable, what can one say in that situation? That's not clear to me. Okay, if there are no more questions, <laughs> let's thank uh, Chen Yan again for a beautiful talk and uh, thank you very much. And I again apologize that we have this limit of uh, 100 people. I will upload the video if Chen Yan is uh, okay with this, I will upload the video uh, and send it in later. Thank you very much, Chinyang. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for everyone for for, for com coming to the talk. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Keep safe. Thank you. Bye. Bye.